So friends, welcome back to our channel, Learn with Gigs. In today's video, I will discuss with you another interesting scenario-based question which I have collected from one of my friend which was asked in the Power BI interview at EY which is Ernest & Young which is a big four firm. You all might be knowing it. Okay, so let us see what was the uh, scenario and it was obviously you, have, you would have seen from the title it is based on rank X. Okay, so let us see what is that uh, tricky question, what is that scenario and let's see what should be the solution of that. Okay, and the people who are new to the channel, please subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos. Okay, so let's start. Um, before that, let me show you the table that I'm using it. I'm using a simple sales, sales fact table. Uh, in the data view tab, you can see the data have over here. We have different products, their order date, their sales value, the region and the country. Okay, so this is a simple fact table. Now, the question from the interviewer was, let me show you. It was a DAX code and it was based on rank. Let me zoom in. Hope it is clear now. Now, he said that uh, this is a measure. Okay, so first of all, he asked, can you create a measure using rank X? Yes or no? So this was the first question. So the answer is yes. We can make use of rank X in a measure also, as well as in calculated column also. Okay. And the ne next question was, he gave this uh, DAX code, which is rank X. The first expression is uh, the table table okay so this is the sales table okay and then he gave the expression which is the second argument of ranks rank x function then uh, he left the value part then the order and then the dense or skip part so he gave it so he gave this simple one liner code of dax now he said will this dax or will this measure work yes or no and if it is not then what is the problem where is the problem so what you have to answer it here so please let me know in the comment box how many of you were able to uh, detect the problem over here. Okay. So first of all, as you can see here, we have a sales table here and we are showing region wise sales here. Okay. So first problem is that this region filter context. So this region filter context is creating problem and because of that, this ranking function or measure is not working. Okay. Why it is not working? Because sales we are giving the whole sales table okay whatever is there in that table it, we are passing that and we are filtering on the basis of we are giving the region as the filter context here so that is causing a problem here so for that what we have to do we have to include one function here and what is that function we have to include all function here okay so let me include that all function here so all and then in this sales table now if i use this let, let us see what, is, what does the result comes out to be. Will, will it give the correct ranking? No. Right now also it is not working. Then what will be the exact solution for this? Even if you are considering the uh, all function here and if you are providing the whole sales table then also this region filter context is creating a problem. So for that what we have to do we have to nullify this region filter context and we have to pass here the region column. Okay. So I will pass here the region column and so let us see what does the result comes out to be. Still there is a problem. Now how to answer this now. So first of all this was the problem that we have detected. So the table should be replaced by this. Okay. So this is the this was the first uh, issue here that you can depict that you can answer it to the interviewer. So you have to be very particular about what you are showing in the table and what you are uh, using it here in the first argument of rank x function. Okay, so that is the first issue here. Now the second issue exists in this expression. Okay, that is sum of sales of sales value. So for that, what we have to do, we have to use this expression only but in another form. What is that another form? That you can see on the screen here, I have already created one measure which is known as total sales and this measure is all already containing this uh, uh, expression that is sum of sales of sales value. Okay. So this total sales measure is containing the total value of 3315 and when this measure individual measure is used here as an expression then it is it will be I hope it will be able to calculate the rank because in that case it will be able to filter out the different sales for different region and then give the rank for individual regions. Let us see if that works or not. So I will remove this use that uh, uh, total sales measure 
this one and let's see what does the result comes out to be if you are getting the correct ranks or not and as you can see here we are now getting the correct, correct ranks 1440 is the highest which will have the rank as 1 and 4 to 5 is the lowest which will have the rank as 4 so overall there was two problems one is the first one in the first argument and the other in the second argument for the first one you have to be very careful with what you are displaying on the screen as the columns so according to that only this part should be mentioned and corrected and the second part is the expression you have to use a measure here not a particular expression here as you can see here it was not working when i was using sum so i hope you got both the issues here so this was the end of that uh, query or the question that he asked now on top of this another question can be asked from you and that is what i am telling to you now if you have the region slicer here also in the report okay and if somebody selects africa there okay so for africa the uh, the rank is four so that is correct but if i choose asia also here now the rank is showing as three and four but it is not the right way to show the rank right if we have selecting two values then it should rank as one and two here right not three and four so for that what change you have to do you have to make one little change in your dax code that is for rank and that is i can show it now for that what you have to do you have to just make use of all selected here once i use this all selected here and just click here and let's see what does the result comes out to be see we are now getting the correct ranks so so this is how and this was another question that can be asked so that that's why i have covered it in this video only so i hope it is clear to you all so that's it for this video i hope you all got the explanation and so please share it with all your friends and colleagues whoever are preparing for interviews and will be giving the interviews in the coming time stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you